Color BI is a tool that's going to allow you to make beautiful looks. Really, that's what I'm trying to create here. Something that is going to be so effortless and so easy to come up with most wonderful things. Which is the reason why in one one you saw look designer being included in it. Okay? Now, we're taking it a step further. And this is really the direction that we are moving in. Okay? So what we have is we have a two and look packs. One's called Digi and one's called Film. I got here is like loads of analog kind of profiles, right? You see, they're all different. And when you see Marcy, you know, you always say, oh, it's Kodak. So basically, these are all different stocks. Now, very quickly, you know, these profiles, they blow out of proportion because you have so many of them and you kind of can just randomly go and click on them and go like, oh my God, you know, which one should I use? What should I do? So we're trying to make you that process a little bit simpler, okay? So here, as you know, we have a tagging system. So let's say what we're doing here. So, okay, so this, for example, is a promo. Okay, so I'm going to say promo. Okay, so I apply tag promo. And already now it limited it to only files that are better suited for promo. Okay, what I also want to do is I want it to be warm. So I'm going to go and say warm. Okay, so now it has filtered to files that are promo and that are warm. And also, I think I want it to be high contrast. So I'm going to go and say high contrast. Okay, so now based on my tags, Color Lab AI is giving me these options. So now it's much less, now it's much easier for me to go through them and decide, okay, which one do I want? You know, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I can, I can basically go like that. And I say, okay, let's say this is the one that I like. I really think this is nice and warm and I really think this is a very good starting point, right? Okay. However, maybe I, I don't want to just use a, like a, you know, something that is as simple as this. Like, you know, I want to maybe like a, do a little bit more with it. Okay. So what, how can I do that? So I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to say, edit with look designer. Okay. And I'm going to say it needs to be a duplicate because these profiles, okay, are fixed. You won't be able to edit profile itself. But what you can do is you can make a copy of this profile. And now this profile becomes just a metadata that was used to create this profile. Okay. So what I can do now is I can say, well, you know, by the way, this is a new feature that we put in a, in a, in a look designer where you can blend between your look, okay, and your graded image. So like you can say, oh, I want to like, you know, I like this look, but maybe I don't want it as strong as that, right? So I can just, you know, blend between it. Maybe I want it to be a little bit warmer. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. So I can apply a little bit warmth. Um, I don't know. Maybe I want to get more of my print feel to it. So I'm going to go and get it a little bit look like this. So I have like now everything, you know, so look at it. All these profiles, all these look packs that you get with Look Designer are, think about just the starting points, just an inspiration that gets you quicker to, you know, getting to start building exactly the look that you want. You can totally change it. You can say, oh, maybe I don't want to hug, I want this or that, you know, so you have full flexibility to do with it whatever you want. It's like totally like for you to, do. and then I can say, okay, I'm happy with this. Um, this is going to be my promo to look, let's say, save it, boom, the looks get saved and gets put into your, you know, database. And now you're good to go. Basically, you're good to start matching everything according to it. You know, it's, it's, this is your show lot. What I can do is I can right mouse click to it and I can export it as a cube. So I can load it in a camera, right? Or I could also go and export it together with a CDLM cube by clicking here and saying export LUT, which is basically going to include both my CDL and my show LUT, and it's going to put it as a LUT. Or, you know, I can just send it to DaVinci as a, as a, as a node tree, you know, you, you know the drill. <laughs>